Okay guys, it's GDJ right here. I just wanted to do a quick video. Just show you real quick my uh, comic book database I built. Um, pretty simple. Pretty easy. It's built in Access. Now I customize this to where I can have like the condition, a category, print number, cover, which usually for cover I usually have, uh, I'll kind of zoom in on this a little bit. We'll go ahead and we'll use spawn number one for example. Now, um, <clears throat> If we go over here and click open, it's going to pull up another screen. And as you can see, it's made by Image Comics. I hit this drop down menu and I can do the same thing on my other, uh, on the other outside screens. Image, what I paid for it was three bucks. I think it's what it's currently valued at right now is ten dollars. I got it at the condition near mint, uh, first printing original. And then over here, as you can see, and I can do this to all of them, I can add the covers in there. Um, I've got covers on a lot of my books. I just to get this done tonight. I just said screw the covers. I'll fill, finish them out later. I've got a bunch of pictures of them already stored on a on a hard drive and a file, so I can just start adding them pretty quickly. Basically, that's what you do. Um, you come in here, you fill out this information, and then you just go to close, and it closes it back and saves it. Now back here on the screen, where where it says spawn number one. Now if I go over here and click on this, it's a drop down menu. You've got mint, near mint, very fine, fine, very good, good, and poor. Now you can add any of those you want. Now, I mean you can customize this any way you want. What you actually do is you actually click on this up here and uh, it has a little faint box at the bottom down there where you click on this and it'll actually add a uh, little edit thing where you can go down and you can fill these in however many ever you want you can add these in so it's kind of cool you can add whatever condition however you want to do it so uh, but anyway um, then like over here Marvel I've got it even set up now uh, like what you see like here we're looking at we were looking at spawn but since I closed it back it went back um, let's see now you can scroll through this manually if you want. You can also do a filter. Now I've got this to where if I open this up you'll see it says DC Comics, Marvel, Dark Horse, Image, and then Indie just for the other assorted companies out there that don't collect a lot of printing. I go up to second print because usually I don't buy anything that's past second print unless I have to. And then like for covers I've got original and then variant and then the price of what I paid for it whether it's you know below usually below what the cover price is or above depending on the value of the comic and then over here which I haven't got completely filled out all the way yet as you can see is the current value now the nice thing about this database is if you look down here at the bottom it shows that I have 437 books total in my collection my current what I've paid, got invested in comics so far in this past year is just a little over 1100 bucks. Now over here it says $193. That, that's actually going to go up once I get all those values added in. So that's kind of nice. It can keep track and show you what you spent on average in a year and then you can also average it out you know and then you can figure out what your profit is off these comics, what you can make off of them, what their value is if you want. Now this over here at the side, you see how this says a one by it? Basically this is just an attachment. That means there's a picture added in that file. So, like, um, <clears throat> now if I want to say like I'm getting ready to go to my one comic shop that I, I mean I pretty much know what pull lists I need on current stuff. But like on my back issues, I try to keep track of that because I have so many of them. Like say if I'm doing, filling out my Lobo haul or something like that or like spawn all you gotta do is go in and type Lobo and do a search and what it'll do is it'll actually pull up every single Lobo comic on one page that I have and that'll be the whole page every single Lobo book that I've got so that way I can print this out and then I can actually uh, take it to me take it with me you know all on one page with me to my comic store or if I'm at a comic convention and I can take that with me and just mark off and check and see the ones that I already do have and that way I can just start getting the ones I need so that way I don't buy doubles and so you can and there's different ways you can set filters on this I'm not going to get into that too much but you know it's kind of nice because like I said you know if you just certain uh, back issues man you know you get so many of them it gets hard to keep track of them uh, when you go to the store 
and uh, you know it does it really does get hard to keep track so I mean it's nice because you can just pull this up and do a search and like I said when I'm looking for all my spawn books bam there there's everything that has the word spawn in it it pulls up everything all on one page I can take it with me to my comic convention or my comic book store and print it out if I want to. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this video with my phone. Um, trying not to shake too bad. But anyway, um, you can. I'm going to customize this up some more. I'm still not done with it. I need to buy me a new Overstreet pricing guide. I'm actually going to do that probably next week so that way I can go in and start filling in the current values of all my books. And then that way I can get all my numbers and everything up to date. Now these are all the books that I currently have. Um, it's like 437 I think so far in my collection. I've got a full long box and then i got another medium box full and then almost another one of those full. So I'm getting, getting quite a few. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I really thought this was a nice way to do it. Um, if you have Microsoft Office, uh, preferably use um, Access 2007. Um, you can use 2010, but 2010 is kind of like a piece of shit. I don't know why Microsoft does that. I mean... Well, they're doing it with the new Xbox, too, taking all the nice features away and putting in bullshit features just to make everybody mad. I think that's what Microsoft likes to do. But, um, yeah, I, the reason I prefer uh, 2007, it's a little easier to navigate, and the views, they've got a different view. Like, if you look up here where it says Asset List up here, and this is actually an asset database that I created with. It's what I, the template I use. You click on this, you right-click on this, You've got three different views. You got form view, layout view, and design view. Design view is where you change and customize all your stuff a little easier. They completely took that out, which do, you can do like you know edit this stuff up here, like your banners and stuff and everything, just by clicking on them. But if you go in design view, it actually gives you more features. And they took all that away in 2010. I don't know why. It's just stuff that Microsoft loves to do to piss off the public, I guess. Something. Instead of being newer and better, it's newer and worse. I don't understand it. So I use 2007. Uh, it works just fine. You can use 10, but I like using 2007 um, Access Database. It works just fine for me. But uh, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, like I said, I'm still going to customize it. You can add pictures. Now, if you notice, um, like when I open up a, uh, when I open up, like this, this one here, this page here, is blank pretty much except for this information I don't have a picture added in yet uh, but if you look up here you can actually add pictures you can change this so like if I want to make this a marvel image I can um, you just gotta go through it takes a little time if you want to really customize it out each one but it takes a lot of time to do that so I've just pretty much got all of them set to DC to default because this was just like an access image up here so I changed this you can make it an image or Marvel if you want to and the nice thing is is like um, down here in description say like I got a baby variant or something by Scotty Young I can put down here whatever I want to about the artist and the writer and stuff like that or you know um, you know, or anything that, you know, you want to put in about that comic that that was memorable or something you can put down in here, too. That way you can store all that information down there. So that's, that makes it really nice. But um, I just wanted to show this to you guys real quick. I hope the video quality wasn't too shitty for you. Uh, like I said, it's late at night. I've been doing this for a better part of the day. I mean, this is kind of time-consuming, but I started almost from with only like just with a few books on here so it does take time but i'll be honest with you once you start getting this stuff entered in you can just copy and paste as as much as you like like the numbers like i'll highlight this and copy and paste like spawn and then the hashtag and then just change the numbers around and then just you know so it makes it a lot easier and then once you get started over here like say i'm on spawn number 34 i just hit the tab key and if I want to change it to anything like mint or near mint, I just hit like the, the, the letter or the number. Like so, say image. Say this wasn't an image comic. Let's say it was a DC comic. I hit D. Boom, DC comics. Or if I say Dark Horse, hit DA. It's going to type in Dark Horse. Or M. Go, uh, well, that kind of threw it off. But if you, if usually if you hit M, they're throwing Marvel. But uh, it's really nice because you can just, you can hotkey it real quick. 
and then just to hit like one or two for first or second printing. If it's an original print, you hit O. If it's like a variant, you hit V, and it pulls it up. So basically, all you get to where you are, you're only typing in really is the number of the issue, and then you're typing in the value of the cost, and that's it. And then uh, you just make sure you save it because you don't want to lose all your uh, your data. You know that would suck after all this hard work. But that's how I, that's how I created my database. Uh, it was free. Just takes a little time, but I mean it works out nicely. And I mean I've even got an, a separate one for a pull list on here too. Um, you can make that if you want. You can do it however you want, man. The sky's the limit, pretty much on access. Um, you can use um, MySQL, but I'll be honest with you, people that are not familiar with it, it is a pain in the ass, and it's very cut and dry. So that's why I prefer access. There's more features. You can customize it a lot better. But anyway, I'm gonna get off here and let you guys go, and. Uh, We'll uh, see y'all later. Have a good one. Hope you enjoy this.